गाइस वेलकम टू हैप्पी सैटरडे टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो वीकेंड के क्या प्लान्स हैं बिसाइड अटेंडिंग चिटर चैटर इसके बाद कहाँ जा रहे हो कॉफी पे फिर रात को कहाँ जा रहे हो पार्टिंग आई एम श्योर एवरी वन एट गोइंग आउट ऑल द मोर नाउ बट यू आर टेकिंग केयर वेरिंग योर मास्क एंड यूजिंग सैनिटाइजर सो आज हमारे चिटर चैटर पे है अविनाश है सैनो है सीमा कामले सो गाइज टूडे ऑन आर चिटर चैटर We have a guest, Ankit Sawach. You all have seen him a lot on television. He was famous for his roles in Rishto Ka Chakravyu, Behar Two, Man Mohini, and many more. But he's also been doing his debut now in a movie, Banaras Vanilla. So we're going to talk to him all about that. Or आपने उनको होस्ट करते हुए भी देखा होगा उनका शो एपिक पे सफर नामा. So let's see if Ankit is here and let's start our chitter chatter. Well, he's not yet here, but I think he should join in soon. In the meantime, हम अपना चिटर चैटर करते हैं Hi, Irfan. Priya Manu, twenty-four, confident lady. Thank you so much for this lovely compliment. Fredo zero zero seven. Hello, how are you? Kunal R Khanna, how you doing? So, guys, आप लोग के क्या plans हैं और अंकित के लिए आपने जो questions भेजे हैं वो तो मैंने लिख लिए हैं. But कोई और questions हो तो आप यहाँ पे भेज Definitely ask him, but it all depends on time. Ravi Harnesha, hello. We are Pharmacy Seventy Seven. Hello to you too, and let's see if Ankit is here. Hi, Ankit. How are you? Hi, Shweta. How are you? Doing well. How's Saturday going? What plans for Saturday? Nothing much. Just sorting out some house stuff. That's it. No so, work. So, Ankit. Tell us what was you know you've made it really big in TV with your shows like Rishto Ka Chakra View, Man Mohini, Behar Two, and many more. So how did the TV journey began for you? Um, uh, I don't know if I'll call it an accident or something because all all of that happened uh, within a span of time. I spent a lot of time uh, in working towards working in this industry. So uh, after graduating from Delhi, I shifted to Mumbai. then i uh, worked in corporate for a year uh, meanwhile giving auditions then i started off as an ad i worked in a film as an assistant director as well then into casting and then gradually all this happened while auditioning i got this uh, role for adhiraj in rishto ka chakravyu uh, by chance i cracked the audition it was very direct no filmy story behind that <laughs> and i got that show and uh, then manmohini happened uh, after that behad too happened So all of that has been going smooth by God's grace till now. Yes. Touch wood, touch wood, touch and wood. may always be going smooth, and may the grace always yeah. be there. Thank you, thank you. So How much. was it? You know, like when you're doing a TV show, you were playing a role, but in Safar Nama, you were yourself. You were hosting a show. So how did it feel hosting a show on Epic? Uh, I I never planned to host a show uh, like that. but then uh, me and some of my friends we planned to open a production house in order to you know create things that we always wanted to so after doing my first show chakravyu that's where we planned to make a travel show we wanted to make a reality show which is not a contemporary reality show uh, like we have these days so we wanted to tell stories which were real so in safarnama we have around 9 episodes and we've traveled for I don't know around eight thousand kilometers, with eighty places and numerous uh, real life stories. So that's how we started off by telling stories of real people living in real places. So that's how it became a travel show. It was never a planned travel show, but we wanted to tell stories that were real. So the best format to do that is through a travel show. So that's how we did it. And I never planned to be a host. We were planning to take someone else, but then uh, you know just to take a gist of it and to feel how it is to be a host of a show. Uh, and to experience that, that's where we decided that I'll do the show. It was amazing. And I'm sure your love for travel says it all, because otherwise one wouldn't travel so much to say stories and you know host something. Yes. So yes. what's traveling for you? I won't call myself a self-proclaimed. I'm not a self-proclaimed traveler. I don't travel much on my own. But then, uh, luckily, I've had friends and cousins who lo- who love to travel, and I-, I used to travel with them. uh during childhood after that during school days college days we used to bunk a lot and go and travel anywhere we wanted to in the in, in the north northern parts of the country so that's where i uh, you know i enjoy traveling 
but i am not a traveler so maybe this series had has uh, created an image which can you know people can call me a traveler that i love traveling i don't love traveling i like traveling so which are the places you've enjoyed while traveling that you've really liked masuri is my favorite place any time it's 4 hours from my house in meerut so uh, we go there every 3 to 3 or 4 months we used to go not now uh, that's my favorite place forever uh, i like mountains more than beaches so ladakh will of course remain very special for me and himachal i've covered almost all of uttarakhand all of himachal all of jammu kashmir uh, kashmir is still left um and then i loved rajasthan while shooting for manmohini we went there we shot in the deserts so i really love that place too only north north eastern part of the country is left but i think i've covered all of it southern india central and i i travel by road a lot so i do mumbai meerut by car i've done it several times so i know the route i know the terrains so i i love you know just observing analyzing and knowing the cultures of different places different spots in the country So since we are talking about different spots in the country, right now you've done your debut in Banaras Vanilla, a movie. Oh yes. Like, you know, from TV suddenly to movies. So tell us how was the jump? Besides, was that also an accident? Of course, everything is life is an accident. Everything is happening. You know, it's a chain reaction of everything. It wasn't planned. Uh, I never planned that after this show I would be doing a movie. It just happened. Scripts come to you, and then you decide if you have to do or not. so uh, the director sumit mishra sir he knew me from chakravyu days he was the art director of our show and then he somewhere in his heart he believed in me that okay i'll be able to do this i'll be able to pull this off i was i am i'm not not from banaras i'm not from the eastern up i belong to west up it's a completely different uh, area with different linguistics and you know the culture is opposite to each other then i i was apprehensive about it okay sir do you think i'll be able to do it so he came with the script he narrated the story okay this is a story i really liked it i loved i loved the character because it's something uh, which is unique and i don't think it has been attempted much the story has a unique plot to it um so i said yes sir i i am ready i am i'm ready to give in all that i have for the film it's just that you need to trust me on this because i don't belong to that area i don't know how i would be able to pull that off that accent and that body language of the people over there but then i think it's the belief that works he believed in me and then he made me believe in myself and that's how the film happened so tell us some nice magical experience because banaras is a magical city and you got oh, to yes. shoot your debut movie in the magical city so tell us some magical moments while shooting your film i don't know i think there's some uh, connection with the city the first show rishto ka chakrabhu was shot in banaras so my very oh. first scene the my very first scene of my life was shot in banaras so that it the city itself becomes very special to me and the first film is also in banaras so i'm very connected to that city now even, even if i won't be shooting any uh, any time near, near uh, in the near, near future i will definitely go there and spend some time so banaras is definitely a magical city the ghats the streets it's the oldest city the oldest civilization which is still existing so the culture is very 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 old it's around 3500 years old you get to know so much you get to live so much it's a different vibe there's no other city like that so yes banaras so always been very special in banaras blue oh, i, I, loved, it. I loved it i loved it uh so we planned to gain some weight for the character we mutually decided it okay because i was lean at that time doing manmohini so we thought of making the character look an ordinary man losing weight was much more difficult and it needed more time so we didn't have that much of time so i decided to just give those 20 30 days to eating and gain some weight to look at uh, to make it feel natural there are some shirtless scenes in the movie as well and uh, i i didn't want you know the cuts and abs to be visible it it had to look like a ki desi aadmi hai apne usne kapde utare to desi aadmi aise dikhta hai this guy is a villager he's a tourist guide and uh, he's always on the go he loves his job he loves the city so while uh, planning for the character also i i didn't plan much on how the character would behave rather i focused on how knowledgeable he is about the city so i read about banaras i spoke with people who are from banaras i have many friends from that city so i know how these people talk i know how honest they are with their hearts in their hearts so that's where i i just 
learned about the city about the people and tried to grab grab it inside me so that i don't have to put in many efforts in you know i didn't learn anything i just uh tried to gain some knowledge about it so right now here on our chat lot of your fans are sending in hearts and all and narayni shastri saying hello mr ankit hi ma'am how are you and all your fans are saying hi ansim hello how are you doing so how you been when is bear two coming and tell us something more about any other upcoming project that we are not aware of uh this is the latest upcoming project even i am not aware when it's coming out but definitely it's coming out very soon and the official announcement would also be made we are planning on sapurnama 2 as well uh again producing it and there are some scripts which i have i'm reading them and there are some uh, projects which have been offered to me in web and in film touchwood let's see how it goes and i'm i'm also waiting for something concrete to happen and then i'll announce it and thank you so much for all the love and the hearts that you're sending पॉसिबल and these were the people who made it happen for me they supported me all the time there were big scenes all these are you know big big actors and it was very difficult for me to you know just even stand in front of them and perform so narayani ma'am uh, is one of i i shot my first scene with her in the show so i can never forget that how she has supported me all the time and how much she loves me she knows it i i i love her a lot and i definitely want to work with her again hopefully Mahima Makwana is saying hi mate Hi mate Mahima again uh, we did chakrabhi together I was the other Raj she was an army and she is my best 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 friend forever and uh, we share almost everything we eat careers we eat personal lives we discuss about everything and then we are there for each other we know that so thank you for being there Thank you for joining our chitter chatter roles and supporting him here and supporting our chitter chatter who by coming in and commenting on our chit chat. So tell me something, you know, movie हो गई, hosting हो गया, TV हो रहा है. What is on next on the bucket list or next कौन से accidents हैं? नहीं पता accident तो अपने आप हो जाएगा जब होगा. Plan तो यही है कि हर कोई यही सोचता है कि काम वो करो जो काम आपको देखने में मजा आता है. I definitely want to work in projects which I like to watch the type of projects. अगर मुझे किसी तरह की फिल्में पसंद है तो मैं यही चाहता हूँ कि मुझे ऐसी फिल्में करने को मिले हर कोई यही चाहता है हर आर्टिस्ट यही चाहता है कि वो ऐसा कुछ बनाए जो उसको पसंद है बट देन लाइफ हैपन्स एंड देन स्क्रिप्ट हैपन टू यू विच मे बी यू लाइक और यू डोंट लाइक बट देन यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू वर्क देर हैव बीन इंस्टेंसेज देर हैव बीन सीन्स विच आई नेवर वॉन्टेड टू परफॉर्म बट देन डूइंग दैम it kind of liberates you it gives you a sense of self confidence ki agar ye kar liya to tum kuch bhi kar sakte ho and uh, i think that helps a lot to apne aap ko itna zyada firm aur itna zyada rigid rakhna bhi theek nahi hota ki main iske alawa kuch nahi karunga uh, just i think we should just keep on working towards doing things that we want to do and let things that are happening happen agar main chakrabhu nahi karta agar mere sath chakrabhu nahi hota mere sath to banaras vanilla bhi nahi ho pati so everything is connected तो वो बटरफ्लाई इफेक्ट जिसको बोलते हैं कि एक आप एक्शन लेते हो उसके साथ ग्रेजुअली चीजें बढ़ती रहती हैं होती रहती हैं और चेन रिएक्शन बनता है कभी ना कभी कुछ ना कुछ होना होगा हो जाएगा नहीं होना होगा वी हैव टू कीप ट्राइंग देयर इज नो अदर ऑप्शन सो दैट्स लाइक अ मंत्रा ऑफ योर लाइफ लेट द एक्सीडेंट हैपन एंड देयर इज समथिंग गुड हैपनिंग फ्रॉम एवरी एक्सीडेंट और आदर ऑल गुड सो आई डोंट नो देयर इज अ ग्रेटर कॉज बिहाइंड एवरीथिंग सो इफ आई आई रीड दिस समवेयर इफ थिंग्स डोंट गो हाउ यू वांट देम टू गो जस्ट बिलीव इन गॉड ही हैज ग्रेटर स्टोरीज टू टेल so i believe in that certainly okay so now let's us know something about ankit favorite food rajma chawal favorite cuisine chinese or like my favorite street food samosa pav if you have to go to one restaurant right now which one would it be in mumbai i don't know i'll just order i won't go anywhere I I don't go out mostly. I order things. 
I order food and things uh, for home. I don't go out mostly, but uh, I I'd rather enjoy a coffee shop. I'd go to Starbucks and have a coffee. Favorite coffee? Uh, Ice mocha. If there's one thing where you want to transport yourself right now, आंखें बंद करके तो कहाँ होगा वो? घर पे मेरा What is the first thing that comes to your mind when we say TV? Hard work, a lot of hard work. Banaras vanilla. Unique. Rishto ka chakra view. Forever special. Man Mohini. Miracle. The show was a miracle. Had... Yes, show sorry. was a miracle. Yeah, because. we used to work like anything we we stayed on the sets for a week or two we used to shoot for 24 48 72 hours in one go and then i don't know how all, all of that happened how we managed uh in spite of having various incidents where we, where we couldn't even shoot but we did it and it was a very difficult show a very special show so i call that show miraculous because everything that happened is not humane It, it cannot be done humanly. It's not possible, and we pulled that off. So it's a miracle. Safar Nama. Safar Nama, uh, the closest story to my heart. Uh, if tomorrow you have to do something that you've never done, mm. I'll just switch off my phone and run away for maybe a year. I want to Your do that. Your fans are already possible. dying with the thought of this. They're like, "Sir, why aren't you active on Insta? They're going on saying, and if you run away for a year, all these people are going to like, you know, there I, was not a single heart when you said that. They all just went quiet for a second." Yeah, I'm so sorry. I I, I know it by uh, that I'm not very active on social media. Uh, I'm there, but I hardly post anything. Maybe something in a month or two weeks or three weeks. I think that's how I like it because I. I I know uh, people want to know more people want to see things that are happening in my life maybe in some time maybe later later in some later stage of my life I'll become very active on insta but right now I don't think I'm very social media friendly Harry the mystic says bro you need a superhero movie since you're one hell of a character so if you had to play a superhero which one would Batman you? Batman I I have I yesterday only I have ordered a mask for myself and i i'll take a picture wearing it i'll post it very soon uh, so that's how much i love batman the dark knight series especially by christopher nolan uh, i think that's my favorite character since childhood and i always used to say that mujhe batman banna hai main ghar pe wo kala patta ban ke aise bhagta tha jab chota tha aur college mein bhi uh, i was sloshed i was very drunk and i just uh, i just jumped off from first floor in the ground wearing that क्रेप एंड आई जस्ट जम्प और मैं यही बोलता हुआ चिल्लाता हुआ कूदा नशे में कि यार मुझे बैटमैन बनना है बैटमैन बनना है आई डोंट नो इफ दैट दैट्स पॉसिबल इन दिस लाइफ बट डेफिनेटली आई आई बॉट अ मास्क आई आई बाय द होल सूट एंड वन डे अ बैटमोबाइल फॉर श्योर और मैं बॉम्बे में बनके घूमूंगा बैटमैन ये पक्का है होपफुली जल्दी और आपके फैन को देखे एंड जेनिफर विंगेट इज क्वीन इज आस्किंग हाउ इज इट वर्किंग विद जेनिफर विंगेट फ्रॉम सरिता शी इज अ ब्रिलियंट एक्टर Uh, we didn't get much time to spend together on set. पंद्रह से बीस दिन तक ही शूट चल पाया उसके बाद लॉकडाउन हो गया था द शो वॉज रनिंग बेहद टू द शो वॉज रनिंग फॉर एटी एपिसोड वेन आई एंटर्ड तो थोड़ा सा अनकम्फर्टेबल होता है आपको जब आप किसी नए सेट पे नए शो में जाते हो वो एक्टर्स ऑलरेडी इस्टेब्लिश है उस शो में दर इज अव कैरेक्टर विच इज एंटरिंग नेगेटिव था और uh, बहुत अग्रेसिव था तो जेनिफर के साथ जो मेरे सीन्स थे उसमें काफी धक्का मुक्की हाथा पाई टाइप्स होते शीज अ वेरी सीनियर एक्टर आई रिस्पेक्ट हर अलॉट तो वो एक मन में आता है कि यार कुछ गलत ना हो जाए कुछ किसी तरीके से धक्का देके आई डोंट हर्ट हर कुछ ऐसी बात ना निकल जाए डायलॉग्स में कि लगता है आपको मन मन में बट द वे शी कम्फर्टेड मी द वे शी परफॉर्म आई थिंक इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एन एक्टर टू बी लाइक दैट एंड आई लुक अप टू हर इवन मोर नाउ इफ यू हैव अ विश लिस्ट व्हिच एक्टर वुड यू वांट टू वर्क विद शाहरुख खान व्हिच एक्ट्रेस वुड यू लाइक टू वर्क विद Uh, I haven't thought of it, but Alia Bhatt. If you had to be a part of a remake, which one would it be? Rangde Basanti. Do you like romantic movies or uh, drama, like total drama drama? Like 
I I like watching tragedies. Okay. And reading Favorite tragedies. Tragic. Favorite tragic movie. Many of them. Many of them. I can't recall any one right now. Uh, I think the last, the one movie which has impacted me a lot is Ogja. Uh, I watched it when the lockdown began. It's a film on uh, industrialization of uh, animal meat. So there's a story about one elephant. Uh, which has been modified by the dna and there's this little girl who risks her life to save that animal and it's been since then subconsciously i became a vegetarian i turned into a vegetarian i stopped having meat i i cried like anything after watching that movie uh, hachiko is one of the one of the biggest tragic movies ever so yes there are many of them comedy or action action favorite action movies to name a few मैट्रिक्स uh, मैट्रिक्स uh, विल ऑलवेज रिमेन अ स्पेशल फिल्म बचपन में बहुत ही नया था वो देखने के लिए वीडियो uh, कैसेट पे वीसीआर में लगा के देखी थी वो फिल्म आई स्टिल रिमेंबर और वो जिस तरह से पीछे स्लो मोशन में ऐसे बुलेट्स निकलती हैं आई कैन नेवर फॉरगेट दैट एंड देर देर आर मेनी कोरियन फिल्म विच हैव ब्रिलियंट एक्शन एंड नाउ यू नो इन इंडिया ऑल्सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू रीमेक मेनी ऑफ देम तो वो अच्छा लगता है आई थिंक द फास्ट एंड फ्यूरियस सीरीज इज अमेजिंग और हाँ हॉलीवुड की ऑलमोस्ट सभी फिल्में एक्शन फिल्में अच्छी लगती है एवेंजर्स मार्वल मूवीज डीसी मूवीज माइथोलॉजिकल मूवी और हिस्टोरिकल हिस्टोरिकल आई थिंक माइथोलॉजिकल मूवीज आर स्टिल अ पार्ट ऑफ योर बिलीव सिस्टम इफ यू बिलीव इन माइथोलॉजी देन यू बिलीव इन द फिल्म हिस्टोरिकल मूवीज यू समवेयर नो इट्स अ फैक्ट एंड इट इंस्पायर्स यू और मे बी टेल्स यू समथिंग दैट यू नेवर न्यू अबाउट इट सो आई थिंक हिस्टोरिकल मूवीज आर मोर बिलीवेबल रादर देन माइथोलॉजिकल favorite historic character historic character i won't uh, i don't know if there's any favorite historic character uh, i think i i take inspiration from many of them when i read about them i watch documentaries there are many of them i can't recall any one i think adolf hitler has impacted me a lot i have read mein kampf and i have uh, seen many documentaries on world war 2 So I don't know if it's negative or positive, but that guy, that man, Adolf Hitler, has had a tremendous impact on how I think now. So before we end this chitter chat, is there something you want to tell your fans? Oh, definitely. Uh, I just want to say that the way you uh, have respected my work, the way you have appreciated, accepted me, uh, because it's you are the biggest filter in the world for artists. It's you who make us or break us. so i just wish and i just pray that i work very hard and give you products and be a part of uh, projects that you like you love and maybe try to you know perform in a way that you feel that okay this is it he he he's a good actor so i'll i'll keep working hard and i need your wishes i need your love all the time and the film banaras vanilla it's going to come out soon uh, keep showering the love the same way you al- always had Thank you uncle for this lovely time for this lovely chitter chatter on a Saturday we're looking forward for many more chitter chatter and all your fans are sending you best wishes and hearts flowing all your all the love all the love thank you so much for that